Hi everyone, welcome to day 21 of the Scripture and Prayer Streak. Today I'm reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they said, Look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Ah, but wisdom is justified by her deeds. When Jesus walked this earth, there were many eyes watching him to see if he would live up to their expectations. I mean, if he was God's presence on earth, then there were certain expectations people had, particularly the religious leaders. He had to keep the right boundaries between the good people and the bad people and follow the religious rules that showed that he was actually following God, as opposed to everyday people who didn't follow God very well and broke the religious rules. But Jesus crossed the lines every time. He broke the rules every time. Bringing the message of God is not about following the rules and keeping yourself safe from the wrong people. Following Jesus is not being separate and safe from the wrong people and keeping within the walls of the church. Following Jesus is breaking out of the walls of the church into the world. And like Jesus, it might risk being called a drunkard or a glutton or a partier. But Jesus took that risk to bring his message to everyday life. Bringing the message of Jesus needs to break free of the religious expectations. We need to get out of our minds this idea that following God, that being a Christian is about being religious and going to church. It's about bringing the hope of God to everyday life, to being among everyday people and bringing Jesus into that. Find your way into the celebrations and the feasting of everyday life and find a way to bring the hope of God with you as you go. Bust out of the walls of the church. Bring the message of God to the lives of everyday living. Our prayer today comes from Teresa of Avila in the 1500s. What a good friend you are, Lord. You are so patient, willing to wait as long as necessary for me to turn to you. You rejoice the times when I love you, and you don't hold it against me the times I ignore you. Your patience is beyond my understanding. Even when I pray, my mind fills up with worldly concerns and daydreaming. Yet you are happy if I give only one second of an honest prayer. Lord, bless me with your friendship and love today. Amen. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.